Good morning guys. Today in this tutorial um, we're going to carry on in the platforming series and we're just going to make a couple of new movement mechanics for our guy down here. Um, we'll start with like a fast falling ability so when you're in the air instead of floating all the way down if you press a button you can snap to the ground and kind of stomp. That's a cool one to have when you're platforming. Um, we might also build a double jump as well so let's just crack into that. So first thing, um, go into third person BP blueprints, open up your third person character. It's bloody freezing where I live this morning. I'm wrapped up in a blanket and have like three layers of clothes on. I'm dying out here. <laughs> I suppose it's better than being too hot though. I don't like hot weather. Um, that was our checkpoint business. Let's not worry about that. Let's just move up here to some empty space. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click and we're going to type in um, C input, can you type in input to find, yeah, so we want keyboard event C, C is going to be our button for fast falling, so if you move with ASD and W, um, C is just right on your index finger, so that's just a good one to have to, to fall, um, and it's super easy to make a fast fall, so drag in your character movement like that, say set um, gravity scale, like this, and then just set that to like, I don't know, 50 or maybe like 25, whatever, whatever's working, whatever you feel like works. Um, so yeah, maybe when you press that, that can literally be it. No, because when you land, you want to change it back as well. Um, so what we'll do off of this is after you've pressed that, let's have a branch here which will check, um, we'll get your character movement again, and we'll say is falling, like that, and then hook that up into here, <coughs> and then if you are falling, have a delay, and that delay is just going to be of um, world delta seconds, <coughs> the difference between frames, and then after you've waited the difference distance to the next frame go back and hook that up to the branch like that so we can have this like this so what this is doing is this is checking each frame are we still falling are we still falling are we still falling and when we're not still falling you're going to grab this like this put this over here and we're going to set our gravity scale back to one just like that so that's going to be our fast falling mechanic you press c you start falling really fast um, but actually let's before we start falling really fast, let's add in one more check. We'll grab this here, and we'll put this at the start. So we're going to check, are we in the air? Are we in the air? Then check our gravity scale. Um, set our gravity scale. Check if we're still falling. When we're not still falling, set our scale back to 1. So compile and save all of that. Highlight this, and we'll call this Fast Fall Mechanic. Dude, it hurts to type. My fingers are that freaking cold. My god. Okay, so let's give this a, a test. Hit play. All right, we're going to jump. Oh, don't kill me. Fuck off. <laughs> let's jump. And then we can fast fall like that. Beautiful. I might make that a bit faster, so I might change the gravity to 50. So we're falling 50 times faster than normal speed. And we could have a sound in there as well. So if we move all of this out like that, we can just say spawn sound 2D. Um, what have we got in here? Do we have any cool falling sounds? <laughs> we could just use the laser sound again. Yeah, let's just use the laser sound again. That's fine. Um, there should be a link to that in other tutorials, but I'll put a link in the description if you don't have it already. Um, and I'll just change the pitch. It would be nice to have some other sounds because we've used this laser sound for freaking everything, but... Oh, well, it's a bit of extra feedback, I guess. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Um, so, next we might just make the double jump really quick. Or should I do that in another video? I might do it in the next video. Actually, you know, you know what? I'm just going to do it in the same video. Fuck it, why would I bother making another video just for another mechanic? Oh, I'm retarded sometimes. Alright. Um, so, right-click up here. Um... And this is going to be... Oh, we should have, actually, if you go down to all of this default stuff here, where's our jump thing down there? We've got our jump ability down there. 
So what we might do is we might just... Um, no, nah, actually, let's leave Let's leave that. That's fine. Up here, we'll right-click and we'll type in... We'll just go spacebar. We'll just use key presses instead of input mappings for now. Um, and so, okay, so we press spacebar. If we're on the ground, he'll do a normal jump like before. But what we're going to do is we're going to check if we're in the air. So we'll grab this same check here. Are we in the air? Um, so are we falling? If we are falling, then we're going to jump again. So to do that, we're going to say launch character. Um, and we might just split this here like this. And then drag off of launch Z velocity. Actually, no. Oh, yeah, we can drag off of that. And we can promote that to a variable. And we'll call this um, double jump. Oh, my God double jump Z like that and we might just add that to a new category called double jump like that just to keep it all in one spot okay so we have a double jump ability like that um, set that uh, the default of that to like 600 probably would be would be nice um, so now, we've launched our character up into the air. So we might just want to have another little um, branch here. So are we falling? Yes. We'll have another branch. And this one can be called... Um, actually, no, we won't have that a branch. What that can be is it can just be a do once. Actually, no, we'll have a branch. Because maybe you want to be able to like triple jump and stuff like that as well. And this branch here is going to be um, called... Um, let's say integer less than or equal to, like that. And the top integer can be num of jumps. And the bottom integer can be max num of jumps. So this isn't going to be a double jump. This is going to be like a potential triple, quadruple, whatever jump. But that's okay. You can use it as a double jump. Oh man, I cannot spell today. It literally hurts to type. So let's say a max number of jumps is um, one because it's referring to double jumps. So let's just put all these in the double jumps folder. The double jumps um, thing in my bob. And number of jumps, it'll start at zero. So is the number of jumps less than the max number of jumps? If so, um, launch the character and then set the number of jumps to um, the old number of jumps. So we'll go add integer and we'll type in num of jumps there and that can be old num of jumps like that. Okay, let's, all mo let's move all this up because this might get a little bit complicated. Okay. So... Let's just keep all this neat. Um, we also need another one of these checks here for this new bit. So we'll grab that and we'll put that um, right in here. So we'll put that there. So we're checking if we're in the air um, before we jump. And if we are in the air when we've pressed the, the double jump button, we want to check when we're on the ground again so that we can reset how many times we've jumped in the air. So, to do that, let's just have a sequence like this, I guess. Um, and that can be hooked up down into there like that. So, once we trigger this event, it's going to start checking if we're on the ground. And if we have fallen onto the ground, we're going to set um, num of jumps back to zero like that. <clears throat> this is getting messy as hell. Okay. Um, so I might just add a print string onto the end of this so that we can just count a number of jumps as well. So that can just be number of jumps like that. 
and we might add a sound in for when we jump too, so that we can we've just got that feedback to know that we've we've done something special. So I'll just copy that laser sound and just put that into here like that. Um, all right, let's give that a go. Let's see what happens. So we're in the world. We do a regular jump. That's fine. We press space for our game when we're in the air. We get a one at the top. And we can jump twice. Beautiful. Okay. Um, so if we wanted to be only be able to jump once, we'd need to change this here. So um, we say less than is less than the max number. Just like that. So say we wanted this to just be a double jump. Um, it will be a double jump actually right now because it's saying max number of um, double jumps is one and it starts at zero. Um, and after... So just, just to explain all this again from start to finish because I, I might have rushed through that and gone a bit back and forth and it not made sense. So we press spacebar. Um, what this is checking now is are we in the air? If we're not in the air... It's just going to do our regular jump over there. If we are in the air, the regular jump is not going to work. And what it's going to do is it's going to run this top line, which is going to be the jumping mechanic, but it's also going to run this bottom line, which is checking if we're on the ground. And when we get back to the ground, it's setting the number of jumps to zero. And that number of jumps is being used over here because what it's checking here is this is checking how many jumps we've already done in the air um, and if we're allowed to do another one. So, number of jumps there, is that less than the maximum number of jumps that we're allowed to have? Um, and if the number of jumps is less than, then we're going to jump in the air, spawn the sound, and we're going to in increase the number of jumps that we've already done. So then, if once we've increased that and we try to jump again, um, this number might not be less than this anymore, so we're not going to be able to jump anymore. And so we're locked out of jumping until we hit the ground, when it, when it resets. So hopefully that makes more sense now. Um, if you want to change the jump velocity so it's a bit higher, um, you can change this. But you could also say Z override so that um, if you're falling down, so I'll show you what that looks like if you're falling down. It doesn't look like a jump. It looks like more just like he's slowing himself down while he's falling. See that? So if we tick that, I believe that should cancel his downward velocity and just send him straight back up. So it'll look more like a jump probably. Yeah, like that. So to do that again. Yeah, I like that better. That's much cooler. So if we were going to use that in our game. Double jump. Yeah, that's cool. And you could use the fast fall as well. Like that. Yeah, I really like that. That's really cool. It feels nice to use. And of course you got the fast fall. And we got our launch pads. That need more velocity because they are way too weak right now. This one's a good one. Yo. Okay, um, I might leave that one here, guys. In the next tutorial, I've got a couple of things that... I've got, like, a list of little um, ideas in my little Word document down here that I'm going to do in the next couple of tutorials. We might do a sprint mechanic in one of them. That should be pretty easy. Um, I've also got, like, a... We might make a little pickup um, item and a pickup counter that counts um, your pickups. And we also might do some procedural walls and floor for, like, fast building and stuff like that as well. And then after that, we might just get into some level design, and I'll show you how to build some levels. But that's it for this one, guys. See you in the next one. Oh, before I go, let me know if you have any questions. Um, just leave me a comment at the bottom, and I'll get around to them as soon as I can. Peace out, guys.